hello everyone so now let us all start with the next set of questions uh, part 3 uh, from the topic uh, reflection of light and the image formed by plane mirror so now we will start with the multiple choice questions first uh, question number 30 says that uh, the angle of uh, reflection is equal to the angle of incidence uh, always sometimes under special conditions or never uh, so the answer to this 30th question is part a that uh, uh, if the surface is smooth and polished so this condition is not given in the question uh, so it is understood that the surface is smooth and polished so the answer is going to be a part that it will always be equal the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection moving on to question number 31 the angle between the incident ray and the plane mirror is 30 degree okay so if this is the plane mirror and this is the incident ray so according to the situation they are saying that the angle between the incident ray and the plane of the mirror is 30 degree we have to find out the total angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray so the reflected ray will be like this this is the point of incidence o and we all know that at the point of incidence we make a normal and normal is always perpendicular to the plane of the mirror so can we find out the angle of incidence so the angle of incidence will be 90 minus 30 that is 60 degrees so the angle of incidence is 60 and according to the law of reflection first law angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so it will also be 60 and angle of incidence plus angle of reflection the total answer comes out to be 120 degree that that is part d is the correct one over here uh, moving on to question number 32 now a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror so if this is the plane mirror and the incident ray of light it is falling on the plane mirror at an angle of 90 degree so this is how the incident ray is falling and at 90 degree we all know that there is the normal also so we can say that the incident ray is falling normally on the plane of the mirror what is the angle of reflection in this case so when the incident ray of light is falling normally it means that angle of incidence is zero and according to the first law of reflection and angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so the reflected ray is going to trace its path back it will follow the same path and the angle of reflection is also 0 degree so uh, c option is the correct one over here we need to understand that at 90 degree the incident ray falls normally and the angle of incidence becomes 0 degree in this case uh question number 33 now the image formed the image of an object formed by a plane mirror virtual real diminished or upside down so plane mirror never forms a real image that is wrong it never forms a diminished image that is also wrong and upside down it means inverted so this is also wrong so which one is the correct answer over here it is a that is the image is virtual now what is a virtual image an image that cannot be obtained on a screen it means from the mirror we cannot take it on any other screen like a white sheet white chart wall curtain any where we cannot take it uh, so that brings us to the answer of 33rd question moving on to 34th now the image formed by a plane mirror is now we have to find out the characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror uh, a part says that it is virtual behind the mirror and enlarged now if we pay attention over here virtual is correct behind the mirror is correct but enlarged is wrong plane mirror never forms enlarged image right then b option says that virtual behind the mirror and of the same size as that of the object so i guess that this is the correct answer but let us read c part and d part also that the image is real so right in the beginning only the option is wrong because the plane mirror never forms a real image it always forms a virtual image an image that cannot be taken on a screen and d part also says that real so again right in the beginning only it is wrong so which option is correct for the 34th question number it is the option number b that is the image is virtual behind the mirror and of the same size as that of the object uh, let us now move to question number 35 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव नाउ वट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव सेज दैट द फिगर गिवन अलोंग साइड शोज द इमेज ऑफ अ क्लॉक एज सीन इन द प्लेन मिरर ओके सो दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ अ क्लॉक इट्स नॉट द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज द इमेज दैट वी आर एबल टू सी इन द प्लेन मिरर ओके इट्स नॉट द ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ वट इज द करेक्ट टाइम सो आई एल जस्ट ट्राई टू मेक इट ओवर हेयर लेट अस ऑल स्टार्ट विद द रियल ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो इफ दिस इज लाइक दिस द एरो दिस ब्लैक पॉइंटर विल बी हेयर ओनली एंड दिस वन विल बी ओवर हेयर दिस Uh, needle the longer one will be over here and the shorter one will be slightly like this so over this it is 25 like minutes and over this it is 9 so if we know that how do we make laterally inverted right so the left appears to be the right of the object okay can we understand this this is the left of the image so this appears to be the right of the object and this is the right of image and this will appear to be the left of object so if you understand that what is lateral inversion we'll be able to tell the correct time and the correct time is 925 okay so this is how we are supposed to do it and the phenomena that uh, uh, was present over here it is lateral inversion so the left of the object was appearing to be the right of the image and the right of the object was appearing to be the left of the image so this is how we solve the multiple choice questions uh, the main thing over here is that our concept clarity should be very good uh, we can solve the numericals very well i hope you understood the tutorial very nicely and thank you all for watching i hope it was a good and informational video to all of you thank you